It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Before I start this video, I first want to state that this video is not against lockdowns for coronavirus or in favor. This video is pretty much in the middle. So whatever I say in this video is entirely up to you guys to how to interpret it. Because this video in no way or another is saying that lockdowns are good or bad. That said, during the coronavirus lockdowns that I've seen so far across the whole entire world, I noticed that there were some governments that are using its power to abuse it against the citizens that they're trying to protect. And every single time I see these kind of abuses, I feel sad and frustrated that there are some people that go over the line when it comes down to the coronavirus lockdowns. And so for this video, I'm going to talk about the top five over the top measures that I've seen so far in regard to the coronavirus. At number five, of course, happened entirely in Canada. So what happened in Canada was that a group of people, like five people, I believe, had a party. And of course, they did not have any type of mask or anything else. And so somebody actually read it on them. And of course, the police showed up. No, I know there's like some people online on YouTube and on social media that spread this idea that masks do not work, they're not affected. However, think about this logic for one single second, okay? Like, let's take for example, you're sick, you're coughing, you're sneezing, and so if you did not have the mask on, you would probably spread your cold to somebody else. And so naturally the mask is used as a guard to actually protect other people. And so even if a person did not have a mask, if that other person had that mask on, they're protected from your code and whatever. And so those people who decided to have that party in Canada without their masks on, that's entirely up to them. And honestly, I'm, of course I am concerned about people trying to spread the coronavirus, that's obvious. It's obvious that it actually exists, that people do in fact die from the coronavirus. But calling somebody and what they're doing in their own personal house make no sense. If those people who are hosting that party want to spread their own diseases across each other at their own freaking party, that's entirely up to them for being dumbasses, right? However, to arrest those kind of people for what they're doing in their private property is a bit over the top. Like, I know for a fact, of course, like businesses, of course, have their own personal rights to enforce these laws, like requiring people to put on the mask. But to, you know, try to arrest people at their own house for having a good time does not make much sense to me. At number four is, of course, what happened in Australia. Now, Australia is well known for not having free speech, of course. It's not protected by their constitution. And so naturally, they are subject to government abuse in Australia. Unlike, of course, my country suffers a lot from abuse from that. But we have a constitution that protects our free speech and our gun. And of course, Australia has like no free speech. And of course, the government bought all their guns away. So, yeah. Of course, what happened in the news is that, of course, there was like people on a rooftop and I believe they have like these satellites now where they can check whether or not you are actually doing what they're required to do for the coronavirus lockdown there. And so they have all these sort of drones and whatever to actually check on the citizens on what they're doing and what they're not doing. 
Police are preparing to launch their aerial arsenal as part of a crackdown on COVID rule breakers. High-powered drones will be used to find people not wearing masks and cars too far from home. Sky-high surveillance as we battle to control COVID. Over the next week, Victoria Police will dispatch drones. They'll be keeping a watch on St Kilda and Port Melbourne Beach, making sure skate parks and playgrounds remain empty. And for those who head to the park, a mask is a must, or at least a face covering. Are they knickers? Yeah, it's my knickers. <laughs> Police have also been using drones to guard the New South Wales border. There are concerns this style of policing won't end when the pandemic is over. I think it's very important that we come up with rules, with laws that can also have things like sunset clauses so there's an end point for any kind of technology or new powers that police might use. There's no escaping this high-powered aerial arsenal. It can be flown for seven kilometres. The camera is infrared and it's so clear it can read a vehicle's number plate from 500 metres away. It doesn't really bother me. I'm doing the right thing, so I've got nothing to hide. Honestly, when I first heard about that news, that sounded like something directly from like 1984, where basically like the government has their eye on you on every single stuff that you're doing. And so naturally, like I said earlier in the video, I think people have the right to do whatever they want to. Of course, I do not want people to actually, you know, freaking get the coronavirus. That's obvious. I care about my fellow human beings. But they want to act stupid in their own house. They have a right to act stupid in their own house. And so I don't think that the government should send drones or whatever to actually search on people on what they're doing at their own freaking house. At number three, of course, is what happened at a freaking airport, right? So what happened was that a couple brought their kid to an airplane, right, to go to whatever type of destination that they want to go. However, of course they had the mask on, like the husband had the mask on, and the woman also had the mask on, but the baby, of course, the freaking baby, didn't have the mask on. Now, naturally they try to put like the mask on the baby, but of course, they cannot control the freaking baby. And so the airline actually banned the couple just because they could not control their baby. Why? We're, we're over here holding this mask on her face. I'm sorry, sir. I did you made it up to you. I, and I took that opportunity and I ran with it. You see this? I'm literally filming her face. I gotta ask you to get Do you guys do this all the time or what? Like, if what? There's, if there's not compliance, yeah. This is compliance. I'm literally holding it okay. over my daughter's face. This is compliance right here. She, we can't force her. She's literally holding it and she's crying. You're gonna do this to us? Like right now? Yeah? Wow. All right, let's go. Look, guys, I understand the gravity of the situation that we do, in fact, need masks to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. I understand that part completely. As a matter of fact, whenever I'm working at my job, I always have the masks on, I have the gloves on, I try to put any type of precautionary measure when it comes down to working out in person, right? At the same time, don't you think it's a bit obsessive to kick out an entire couple, to ban an entire couple, all because they could not control their little kid with the mask on? That to me seems very obsessive. Because, think about it, if you had a kid, you would know that it's really hard to control them. That's obvious. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to have a kid. Try going to your youngest cousins or your youngest brothers or whatever. Any type of person who is like a little, little kid. It's really hard to control those bastards, right? And so, naturally, of course, like how would you kick someone out just because they had a hard time trying to control their kid? It just does not make any sense to me. At number two, of course, is banning smoking and alcohol. Now look guys, 
I know for a fact that smoking is bad. And matter of fact, I discourage every single last one of you guys to not smoke at all. And matter of fact, we know for a fact that it causes cancer and blah, 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 blah. And so I'm not going to lecture anybody watching this video the evils of tobacco and smoking because it's obvious that it's really bad for us to smoke cigarettes and whatever. However, at the same time, I believe in personal choice. And so that means that that person who want to smoke has their own personal rights, their own decision to smoke whatever they actually want. That said, I heard that in Spain, that they actually ban people from smoking in Spain. That is kind of crazy. And I also heard that there are some parts of my own country that ban people from drinking alcohol. And like, dude, you, you're actually kind of, you know, <laughs> destroying their personal freedom, right? And now they have a right to smoke. They have a right to drink alcohol. Obviously, like stuff that's not in moderation could be bad for your personal health. But these people that we're talking about have like no job whatsoever, like the economy is like a ruins. And so they might turn to smoking, they might turn to alcohol during all of this to calm down their nerves. And so naturally, of course, I think not trying to, you know, remove that from their own personal life might actually help them. Because I'm pretty sure that there's like high levels of suicide because of this whole entire economy collapsing and stuff. But anyway, it does not make any sense to ban smoking, to ban alcohol during all of this going on right now. At number one, of course, and I personally find this to be like the weirdest thing ever, is how the government want to control people and what they do in bed. Like, I heard of these stories of like people in power just wanting to stop people from having sex or discourage people from having sex during all of this. Like, dude, if two people or more than two people want to fuck, they have a right to fuck in private. You can't tell people, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, dude, if there's, if there's like, it's their own personal house, right, and they have free time, right, and they want to, you know, actually do something during this whole entire economic collapse and stuff, if they want to fuck, they will have to fuck. <laughs> it's like part of human nature, like sexuality has been around with humanity like as long as we started to be created by nature through evolution and so on. And so naturally all humans have a sexual desire to, you know, release their own personal pleasure onto somebody else. That's obvious. And so to tell people, hey, you cannot fuck during all of this, again, that's stupid. That's really, really stupid. So that's the top five epic fails during the coronavirus lockdowns. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.